many elephants there are now if there were three in 1931 according to the letter. We have evidence of one just to put it on record but that doesn't mean that there isn't um, there aren't any other elephants roaming the forest. Thanks for that. Thanks for coming everybody. Um, what I just want to say is that um, Philip has really worked hard on this project, on the Rooted on, in Time project with our team, the Martin Hatchwells and, and other players. Um, we've got a, a brochure that's out there that we've got in one of the tables, if you can just grab one. Also, all the information that he was sharing is in uh, interpretive material. So there are 10 places to stop it in the forest, you'll see in the brochure, and they all look like that, green, red, and brown. And so everywhere you see a sign like that in the forest, it's, it's part of the route. Um, it's not all information that's historical information, and um, if you're from Gauteng, like our guests are at the back, you know, it's, there are scenic spots, um, there are huge trees you've never seen before. It's actually beautiful, and there's lots to learn. Um, so what we'll do right now is we'll um, go on, on four of the, we'll travel and stop at four of the ten routes. So we'll stop at the Forest Legends Museum, which is a hub in itself in the forest. Um, and then we'll stop at the King Edward Big Tree, which um, Philip referred to. And then we'll stop at um, Spitzkorp. We'll show you the other six areas en route, but we'll stop at only four of the places. We have guides and everything. So we'll ask the drivers of the two combis that came from Wilderness and George um, to, to position themselves to face... Um, to face the Forest Legends Museum. And then the other combi as well, we'll ask the Neisner Historical Society to take the other third combi. And then if the guests can go in the two combis that they came in, and then we can fit everybody in. The idea there is not to have too, much, too many cars traveling because we'll end up at Spitzkorp, which is very narrow. You do want to limit the, the amount, of, and amount and number of cars going up and down there. Um, so if you can maybe just um, eat up, drink up, and when it's time, we'll just alert you and we'll get into the combis and start um, traveling and start our journey. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>